We have a very special guest with us today for e-learning. And I'd like to introduce him. Hi, ho, Kermit the Farm here. Kermy, how's been all these weeks at home been for you? Time's fun when you're having flies. And so, <laughs> well, we always say time flies when you're having fun, but I guess it is the other way these days. And so Kermy and I would like to sing a very special song for you today. Kermy? Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Kermy, that's not the song we were going to sing. Remember, we are going to sing the special song about e-learning and how you can do your math during e-learning, and it'll help you get through it. And that's the one we are going to sing today, okay? Can we sing that one? Okay, so we're going to sing a new song for you. I think you'll recognize the tune. So Happy Friday, everybody, and we are so glad that Kermit the Frog was able to join us for that video introduction. After we shot that video, I asked him, I said, do you ever see Miss Piggy anymore? And he said, well, you know, it was, it just never worked out. Something about commitment. <laughs> and, but Kermit still seems really happy. You know, and I just can't figure out why Kermit the Frog is always happy. And then it finally dawned on me that Kermit the Frog is always happy because he eats whatever bugs him. And one last thing. Do you know what Kermit the Frog and Winnie the Pooh have in common? They both have the same middle name. And so, hey, this looks like it's going to be great weather this weekend. And so hopefully you'll be able to enjoy some of that. But make sure we got e-learning today and fill out your attendance form. And then we're going to show you what we have in store. Four, math competition today at 315. We don't care if this is your first time. Join the excitement and participate today. And so it will be exciting. And so even if the weather's nice outside and you get some e-learning done, then you go outside, don't forget to come back in. We need your score. We need you. And so make sure you get that done. But before you get too excited about that, make sure you take attendance. And then let's see what we have in store for algebra today. So today 
We haven't done any story problems in a long time. And today's notes are going to be a little bit longer, but some of you are not watching them to the end. I can tell because you don't get, I do the last one for you, and then you don't do what I do, and then we catch you. And so, watch the video. It's helpful. And so, we're going to do story problems tonight. It's going to seem like a lot, but I'm going to give you tons of hints. And so, hopefully we get this video posted on time and have no trouble. We had a little trouble some days, and so we're keeping our fingers crossed. And so make sure you get your warm-ups done this week. Send in your logic problems today, tomorrow. Don't wait till Sunday at midnight. Yeah, it's when it's due, but I'm making videos and getting ready for Monday, and you send stuff at the last minute. And I have figured out why some of you are more successful than others. And it comes down to the simple thing, not who's smarter. It's who's making wiser decisions. The people that send me stuff at midnight, I guarantee they don't have the highest grades in the class. Plain and simple. But those that do send it in and work and get their stuff done, they have higher grades. And I, then I finally figured out this is what's been going on all year without actually knowing. And it all comes to light. And so get your work in. Okay. So we're going to talk about work problems today. And so these are going to be quite involved. And so this is notes number 120. And if we were in class, we would watch a movie clip. And so I can't, we're, we're going to watch a movie clip that's already on YouTube. So that's weird. I'm going to watch YouTube to watch YouTube. But that's what we're going to do. So I hope you enjoy this clip and I hope it works. We're interrupting the video. YouTube didn't like that I put the little big league clip in my video. And so they had to, we had to edit it. So you have to click on the link on the e-learning page so you can watch the YouTube video of the little big league story problem. Go watch that and then resume this video and I'm going to talk about that problem. They edited it out and if I, if you watch this video, my voice and the writing then is off the whole rest of the video which is really weird. So I'm re-uploading it and so this is insert of the little movie clip that we wanted to watch. But you're going to have to watch that on the link on the e-learning video and then come back here and we'll talk about the problem. Okay? Sorry about that. All this technology stuff. Okay. So much easier when we're just in the classroom. So here we go. Use that to talk about. We're going to explain why that shortcut works. And then you are allowed to use the shortcut on the first problems. But then the problems will get too hard and the shortcut will kind of fall apart. And so, Colin, we will have to fill in charts towards the end. So some of you see these charts, and you're like, no, charts on e-learning? You have got to be kidding. What are you doing to me, Mr. Nison? But I'm going to give you way more hints. And so it should be okay. So let's fill this in. What did the movie say? If Joe can paint a house in three hours, and Sam can paint it in five, how long does it take if they work together? Well, some people would just say the answer is four. Three plus five divided by two is four. But that is not because there's a rate that they are working and make sure you're filling this in. But it's not a speed. It's your speed of working, not your speed of traveling down the road. But it's still a rate times distance problem. But your distance isn't traveling. It's how much work you're getting done. And so your rate times how fast you work times how long you work equals how much work you're getting done. And so we got Joe and we got Sam. So here's the key thing about your homework tonight. When you do rate problems, it's how much you can get done in an hour. So if Joe can paint the house in three hours, how much of that job does he get done each hour? Yes, he gets a third of the job done every hour. So if he works an hour, he gets a third of the job done. If he works two hours, he gets two-thirds of the job done. If he works three hours, he gets the whole job done. Well, Sam, he's doing a fifth of the job every hour. So together, you'd be doing a third plus a fifth, which would be eight-fifteenths of the job. And that's how much they'd have done in one hour. Well, if they're going to work at the same time, they'd each work X amount. And so our chart would look like X over 3 and then X over 5. And you're like, Mr. Nice, why are you making me doing this? We got a shortcut. We're going to get there. Patience. See, watch me at two times the speed. You'll get there faster. And so you got X over 3 plus X over 5. And what do we set it equal to? Well, on the homework tonight, except for the envelope problem, every problem is equal to 1. Why 1? Because that's how many jobs we're doing. They're painting one house. So 
his rate plus his rate to get one job done. And see, once we get this, the equations today, they're harder to write, but they're easier to solve. And so my common denominator would be 15. And so that's 3 times 5. And so if I multiply by 15, I would get 5x plus 3x to equal 15. Well, that's 8x. That's a plus b. And this equals a times b. And when I divide, I get a plus a times b over a plus b. And the answer is 1 and 7 eighths. And yes, the horse's name is Friday. Why do you say that? Oh, this guy rides into town on Friday, stays three days, and leaves on Friday. How'd that happen? The horse's name was Friday. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Okay, so we're going to talk about a shortcut. And the shortcut is A times B over A plus B. And, yes, I do want to explain why that works. Okay, so you ready? Let's go to the next and figure out why. That, once you know why a shortcut works, you're allowed to use it. So let's know why. Let's fill in this chart for the shortcut. And the shortcut right here is when you do the charts, the first column, if you got Sam and Joe, it doesn't really matter which one's where. The first column is always one over and one over. It's how much you can do in an hour or a minute or whatever it is. So it's one over A, and this would be one over B. Now the reason the shortcut's not always going to work, because partway through your homework, we're not going to start working at the same time. Someone works for an hour and then they leave and someone else works. Or they keep working. And so if I was going to solve this equation, x over a and then x over b, this would be how you'd get a formula. So you'd have x over a plus x over b equals 1. Well, what would your common denominator be, Ryan? Yes, a, b. Very good. And so we have AB and AB. And so when I distribute this, this is why we learn this stuff, so we know why it works. Cam, yes, the A's cancel and you get BX. Then we distribute the second one. Mason, yes, the B's would cancel and we get AX. And then that would equal AB. Well, Lauren, how do we solve for X if it's in two spots? Yeah, pull it out. And so we get x times the quantity of a plus b equals ab. And then we're going to divide both sides by a plus b. And all of a sudden, we have this cool shortcut that nobody knows, except we know it now. And now you know it. A times B over A plus B. Woohoo! See, algebra makes us smarter. And even if you say, I'm not going to use algebra and become some mathematician, you might want to write movies sometime. And you want to write movies about baseball. And what's the toughest class? Algebra. That's why they put that clip in there, because everyone knows that story problems like this are hard. And so that's why you find it funny when you're older. You don't find it funny when you're in the middle of it. And so. That's just how it is. And so we got two more examples we're going to do, and then we're going to start our homework. And these examples are going to be like the end of our homework, the tough ones, okay? And so let's take a look at the last two. So let's look at these last two problems. And these are pretty hard, but this one is three people working together. It says Charlie can complete his algebra homework in 45 minutes. Grant could complete it in an hour and Jacob completed in 90 minutes, how long would it take if they all work together? Well, remember you have your rate, and the rate is always one over the time it takes them to do it alone. So we're going to say that again. The rate is one over the time it takes them to do it alone. These are always the alone times. And so when you set up your chart, you put the alone times by myself. And so Charlie takes 45 minutes. So that goes here, and it's always one over. 
Grant takes an hour. Well, you don't put one. That would be minutes. You can't have some of the problem in minutes and some of the problem in hours. So if we're going to do minutes, we're going to do minutes, and we're going to do minutes. And does it say they all start at the same time? Yes. And so we're all going to start at X. This is the actual time they work. The time that goes here is the actual time they work. The times that go in these pink-purple things is their time by themselves. And as long as you get that down, you got this. So this is going to be X over 45, the time they actually work over their time alone. This is the time they actually work over their time alone. And then this is the time they actually work over their time alone. And so this is going to be, and this looks really messy, but it's not too bad. We have X over 45 plus X over 60 plus X over 90. And remember what we said we're going to set them equal to? If they're all just doing one math assignment, and I'll do the first problems, you do the middle ones, like we're working on a review game. And I'll do the last ones. You said equal to 1. And then what's your common denominator? 45, 60, and 90. Danielle? Yes, it'd be 180. And so clearing the fractions is the way to go. Just clear them like you're plowing snow. Just get them out of here. How many 45s even go into 180? Well, if 2 go into 90 and 2 90s go into 180, how many 45s go into 180? Yes, 4 of them. How many 60s go into 180, Ethan? Three of them. How many 90s go into 180? Two of them. And it equals 180. Now, we're going to talk about a three-variable shortcut. Was this just A times B times C over A plus B plus C? No, it doesn't work. And so this is just 9X equals 180. And if they all work together... 180 divided by 9 is going to be 20. Okay? So it'll take them 20 minutes if they work together. We're going to do one more example where things don't start and end exactly at the same time. Okay? So let's get ready for the last example, and I'm going to move myself to the other corner. Last example it says Kai and Avery are painting a fence. Kaya can paint the fence alone in four hours. And then it says, if Avery starts helping Kaya after she's already worked two hours, worked on the fence for two hours, they'll finish the fence in 90 minutes after she joins her. How long will it take Avery to build the fence? Why are you doing this to me? It's e-learning, Mr. Nice. You know, keep it simple. No, because when you meet up with someone and they stop practicing, but you don't stop practicing. You meet up with them. Whoever practices more is going to win. And so we're not going to let this defeat us. We're going to keep working hard. Kai and Avery, we got a rate. We got a time. And then we got the work a distance. Well, we got our work distance, how much work we get done. Remember on your homework, first columns, one over, one over. And this is our actual time. So Kaya can paint the fence alone in four hours, so it's one-fourth. We don't know how long it takes Avery to build a fence alone, so it's 4 over x. This is like the equations we did just on Wednesday. Now, how much time do they actually work? Avery starts helping Kaya after Kaya's already worked two hours. And they finish 90 minutes after Avery joins. So does that mean Kaya works two hours and Avery works 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half, which is three halves? No, because Kaya keeps working, and she keeps working that extra hour and a half, and that's what's going to cause trouble. And so it's two plus three halves. So what in the world's that? Well, that'd be three and a half, which would be seven halves. An hour and a half plus two and a half is three and a half, seven halves. So when we multiply, what's one-fourth times seven halves? Well, Kaya does seven-eighths of the job, and some of you who are anti-charts, you're like, why are we doing this? Kaya does seven-eighths of the job. That just means Avery has to do one-eighth of the job. So you could be the robot and do the problems exactly as I say. And do here's Kaya's amount of work she does. She does seven-eighths of the job. Then here's the amount of work that Avery does. She does three over two X. And that has to equal a whole job. Well, we could multiply both sides by eight X. 
Or we could just subtract 7 8 like some of you are yelling at me right now. Mr. Nice and Avery just does one eighth of the job because you subtract seven eighths, the amount that Kaya did from the job. You get one eighth and then you cross multiply. So you get 2x equals 24. And you divide by 2 and x equals 12. And that would take Avery 12 hours to do the job by herself. Now some of you are like, I can do this without a chart. You have to fill the chart in and then you can show what you do. But we're not just going to find the lazy way out, but you can set these up. So we're going to set up a bunch of homework problems with you. Okay, so print off the sheet. You'll be front and back. And I'm going to do a ton of them with you. And those of you that don't watch this video to the end, I can tell because like, you didn't want, I did these. Why aren't you just following along and writing them down? Okay, so make sure you do. Okay, so we're ready to start the homework. This is assignment number 121. And so for these first problems, you can just do the shortcut. A times B over A plus B. Remember, A and B are the time that they work alone. So problem 9 says Sally takes 15 minutes to pick the apples. Takes Lisa 25. You can just do 15 times 25 over 15 plus 25. Just make sure you add first. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Problem 10, you can plug in. Problem 11, you can plug in. But problem 12, it's Dan can load the truck in 24 minutes. And his brother helps him and takes him 15 minutes. Well, that's the time here. And so you don't know what the brother is. So it's going to be 24 times x over 24 plus x. So what you really want to do is put this over 1 and then cross multiply if you want to use the shortcut. So you don't need charts on those. And then I also want you to figure out the three variable one. If three of us work together, how long does it take? Well, the equation you're solving is x over a plus y over b. Nope, sorry. That's x. They're all working the same amount of time. So it would be x over a plus x over b plus x over c equals 1. And what you want to do is multiply by the common denominator, which the common denominator is going to be a, b, c. Easy as 1, 2, 3. Do, re, mi. Do, 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 do. And so when I do this, the A's cancel, and I get BCX. The second one, the B's cancel, I get ACX. The third one, the C's cancel, and I get ABX. And that equals ABC. Well, how do you solve for X if it's in three different terms? Lauren, what'd you say? Yeah, pull it out. And so we're going to get X times the quantity. BC plus AC plus AB equals, that's AB, I don't know why I wrote AB, BA, but it doesn't really matter because it's commutative, equals ABC. And then what are we going to divide both sides by? I'll leave the, save the last step for you. You're going to divide by this big ugly, BC plus AC plus BA, okay? And then that's going to be your answer. You circle that. Now, is that really a shortcut? Would that make a good movie clip? Yeah, just take the three numbers, multiply them, and then divide by the three different products, the sum of the three different products, and that's the shortcut. Well, I think I'd rather take the long cut, okay? So now I'm going to start giving you some hints on the charts, okay? So keep watching and write them down. I'll give you hints on these last ones. I already gave you hints, but the video didn't record it, so here goes some more hints. And that's why sometimes in the video you see it choppy because I record them in short little segments. But problem 13 says one printing press, one machine can do twice as fast as the other machine. And so our low, we, this first column is always one over, one over. And if it says one machine can work twice as fast as the other, one's x and one's 2x. But don't think that the 2x is the faster machine because now you got to think it's taking twice as long. So that is actually a slower machine, and this is the faster machine because my number is smaller. It takes me less time. 
So on this problem, it says they both work for three hours. And so you put threes here. And so this is going to be 3 over x, and this is going to be 3 over 2x. And you're going to add up those two fractions to equal 1. Okay? And so you can multiply both sides by 2x, and that should get that for you. This 14, it says Arthur can do a job in 30, Bonnie can do it in 40, and Claire can do it in 60. Oops, I forgot to give you a third column. So it's Arthur, Bonnie, and Claire. And so it's 1 over 30. 1 over 40, and 1 over 50. And so you could use the three-variable shortcut if you didn't want to, 8 times B times C over AB plus BC plus AB. But how long does it take working together? And so these are all X. I should have made another line. Oops. And so X over 30, X over 40, X over 50, and you're going to set all this equal to 1. So if you don't want to use the shortcut, you multiply by the common denominator. So that's 600. 3 times 4 times 5 is 60. Add a 0. And so, and then you could, that just equals 1. And so you would solve that. Problem 15. It takes dad, father, three. He's driving the new tractor. The son or me is driving the old tractor. So father and son, no one, new and old, either way. And so it says, father takes three hours to plow the field with the old tractor, the, or the new tractor. Father has the new tractor, the new one. And the son, before he goes to school, getting up and working before he goes to school. What a good idea. And so he takes five hours. And so that's one-fifth. That's your rate. But the actual time is dad and the son all plow for an hour. But then the son goes to school, so he doesn't work anymore. So the son just does one-fifth of the job. But dad, he just keeps on working. And so if the sun stays nice and once he's learning done, our math competition's done today, we are going to try to plant soybeans. But the seed cups all cracked apart. They were old, and I had to get new ones, so I got to fix that before we get started. So x plus 1 over 3 plus 1 fifth equals one whole job. Well, you could say if the son does one whole one fifth of the job, then how much of the job is left for the dad to do? Well, dad has four fifths of the job to do. So you could subtract one fifth quick, or you could multiply both sides by fifteen, or you could just move the one fifth over, get four fifths, and then cross multiply here. Five x plus five equals twelve, and so you could pretty much solve that in your head. Okay, so get those down, and we're going to give you hints on the back, and I hopefully this records so I don't have to say it again. Here's the next couple. 16 says, Phyllis can rake in 50 minutes. I can do it in 40. And so you got Phyllis, and you got I. Remember, this column is always 1 over and 1 over. And so Phyllis is 50, and I'm 40, but we're not working the same amount of time. Phyllis, it says, if she rakes 5 minutes before I join her, so she's working 5 plus x, and I'm just working x, okay? And you finish that one up and set that equal to one whole job. Problem 17, one pump can fill a tank in 3 and another pump in 5. Both pumps were turned on for 30 minutes, then the faster pump was turned off. And so if you got one pump is 30 minutes, it takes to fill it, or no, 3 hours, sorry. And the other one takes 5 hours. Which one's the faster pump? Well, the third, three hours is faster, and this one's the slower. And if these are in hours, when both pumps are turned on for 30 minutes, that means they're turned on for half an hour. They're not turned on for 30 hours. The faster pump is turned off. So if the faster pump's turned off, that means the faster pump does the sixth of the job. And this is going to keep working. So the way you could do that is you could multiply and distribute. This would be 1 tenth plus x over 5 because the x is not over 2. So you could say 1 sixth plus 1 tenth plus x over 5 equals one whole job. The people who don't like charts, they're like, well, 
The slower pump does five sixths of the job, and then you can subtract off one tenth, and you could try to think through it and then figure out how much is left. Or you can just multiply both sides by 30 right here. Okay? And so let's take a look at a couple more hints. Let's go to the back side. Problem 18. Pipe A can fill it in 12 after it's been used for four and a half hours. Pipe B is also used. How could it be by itself? So we got pipe A, we got pipe B. And so pipe A is used, it takes 12 hours. Pipe B is 1 over X. But four and a half hours, pipe A is on for four and a half hours, then pipe B is also used. Four and a half plus four and a half is nine hours. And so pipe A is on for the whole time. It says after A has been used, B is also used. So A, 9 over 12 is 3 fourths. A does 3 fourths of the job. If B is only on for four and a half hours, four and a half is nine halves. So that's nine over two X. And you could add these up to equal one, but you could just say, well, if A does three fourths of the job, B has to do one fourth of the job. And the solving that isn't too tough. Problem 19, Ramona can do it. In 12 days, how long would it take Carlotta? So you got RC, Ramona, and Carlotta. Ramona, I'm trying to do these fast, so hopefully I don't make a mistake. And if I do, I'm sure I will hear about it. And so, but trust, if I'm going too fast, just know I probably made a simple mistake. Carlotta by herself. It says Ramona works four days, and she is joined, and it takes them two days. So Carlotta only works two days. Ramona's working six. Six over 12 is Ramona has half the job. Carlotta is 2 over x, and she has half the job. So you can either add these up to equal 1, or just say Carlotta, 2 over x equals 1 half. You can do that in your head. Okay? So let's talk about the last set of hints. To set up with, it's taking me a little longer to get the video posted because I'm giving you so many hints, but it's worth the wait. Okay? Problem 20. Fill pipe can fill the tank in 4 hours. Drain pipe can do it in 12. So we got the fill pipe and we got the drain pipe. Alone, the fill pipe can take four hours, and the drain pipe can take two hours. So they're not helping each other. They're hurting. So instead of adding these fractions together, what should we be doing? Jack? Yeah, subtract them. And the drain pipe's going to win. And so it's x over 2 minus x over 4. And it says for problem 20, how long would it take to empty a half-filled tank so they're not doing the whole job? They're only doing half a job. Okay? 21, it says, Nicholas and Marilyn are addressing invitations, 30 and 40. This one's pretty easy, 1 30th and 1 40th. The only hard part about this problem is they're not doing one invitation. You're not going to set it equal to one job. You're going to set it equal to 140 jobs. Okay? So you're setting that equal to 140. Then for the last two, these ones, problem 22 and problem 23, it says Jeff can weed the garden in four hours. Brenda can take the same amount of time. They work together for an hour and son Rory helps them. How long would take Rory by himself? Well, you got Jeff, Brenda, and Rory. Well, if it takes four hours for Jeff doing a fourth every hour, Brenda's doing a fourth. And together, they're doing a half. And Rory, we want to know how long it takes Rory, 1 over x. It says, they all work together for an hour and their son Rory helped them finish in a half hour. So Rory's only working a half hour. And they're working one and a half hours. So that's three halves. And that's three halves, one and a half. So one fourth times three halves is three eighths. So Jeff does three eighths of the job. Brenda, the wife, does three eighths of the job. That adds up to three fourths of the job. So you could just set Rory equal to one-fourth of the job. Or you can add all these up and multiply by 8x to equal 1. And the last one, three pipes are open. To, they can empty a pool in three hours. The largest pipe takes a third of the time. The smallest pipe takes half the time. So it takes them three hours. So these are all threes. And see, if 1 is x, if you do half the time, it's 2x, but... The faster one is the x, and that faster one is also a third of the time of the slower one. So this is the fastest one, 
this is the medium one, and this is the slowest one. And so you get 3 over x, you get 3 over 2x, and this one would actually be 3 over 3x, which is really 1 over x, because the 3's cancel. And then you could actually add these together and get 4 over x plus 3 over 2x equals 1. And so I just multiply both sides by 2x. So the video is a little extra long because I set them all up for you to make it easy. Finish it up. Hopefully, you're going to compete with us at 315. If you've never competed before, I got username and password. We don't care. We want you to be part of the excitement. And so join in, and we might need you. you might, your perfect score might be the one. You say, I never got one before. But today could be the day. Okay? So finish that up. Send all your stuff to me, and I'll tell Kermie you said hi. Okay? Bye-bye.